don't know how you're supposed to correctly interpret my intentions, but find a way. Ah. Well, hello everyone. I hope you're ready to bring on the heat because it's time for some more Super Mario Galaxy. But things are getting spicy indeed. Because the lava itself wasn't enough of a threat. We have to add these things. Not that I'm complaining, of course. It's all good. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Your turn, buddy boy. Ah, oh, that's so. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, is it not? Now let's get to the main meat and potatoes of the stage. Hey, Bowser Jr. If I give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad! So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente! I think you mean Calamari. Cause your little pet's about to die. And be served on the menu. How would you like to die? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh oh. Right, you gotta do it in a row. Fortunately. Which means you gotta be prepared at a moment's notice. Oh jeez, come on, you son of a... You gotta deal with the blue fire too, that makes things a little bit complicated. But then you still gotta... You still gotta be able to get it shot at a moment's notice. There we go. Luckily, you can do it while jumping, so that makes things a little bit better. Oh, he's getting angry. He's getting a little angry now. A little frustrated, are we? There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Because of the blue fire. Because of the blue freaking fire, man. There we go. Oh, jeez. There we go. Ah, come on. Now you gotta do a third one? Not just ask me to... scale the Eiffel Tower while you're at it. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something. There we go. Don't worry, that Eiffel Tower has been scaled. Ah, uh, what do you know? Your dad's gonna get mad, apparently. But look, suddenly it's stable. I guess they wanted to go easy on you. How, how sucky would that be if you had to worry about dying while you're getting to the Grand Star after you've already beaten everything? That would be very unfortunate. Ah, but first, quick coin. Now I get to beat it at 100%. You got a grand star, and I love the golden outline around him. I know that's a uh, Fresnel, I think. A Fresnel effect. But it's still very nice. That overall look that the game has in general. That white outline. The, the light outline around him. Is that two whole new areas? That's awesome. Anyway, you got a star! King Caliente's spicy return, Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. Galaxy complete! High score updated. You increased your star bit count ever so slightly, and you've discovered a new galaxy to boot. Yes, that is very lovely. New chapter's been added to the storybook. Now that we've recovered so many grand stars, the beacon is almost too bright to look at. Yes, it's become a real star. Once the observatory works as a starship again, we can bring you to the center of the universe. Then we can get you to your special one. We just need a few more power stars. You must help us. Yeah, 11 of them. 
Save your game? Sure, why not? May as well check out some more galaxies. I could go to previous ones again, but eh, let's go for something new. I'm gonna go for variety. Could be. It would be kind of dull if I just did the same galaxies over and over again, you know? Not to say I haven't been doing that from time to time just because there wasn't anything else, but you know. It's all good. This is the beacon, yeah. Oh, no, wait, bedroom. Beacon, bedroom, tomato, tomato. Does it really matter at this point? Next. I've finally mastered wall jumping in a Mario game. I know that's. I know that's such an accomplishment. Let's get over there. Be quick about it. Because if you miss the boat on this, you'll have to wait for another one, and uh, a little annoying. It doesn't take too long, but I'm still going to be annoyed by it anyway. And heck, two hubs are unlocked at once. That is quite a feat. This is the gate, huh? Huh, well, what do you know? I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. So... Is this the first area that he was in? I think it might be. How fascinating. Nice. Ah, uh, that's so lovely. So it probably isn't a place where I can get to do levels from, but, uh... You know, it's still pretty nice to look at. How are you everywhere at once, Rosalina? I know you're the mother of the cosmos, but... That's a little crazy even for you. I'm just saying. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, yippee indeed. Possibly. Maybe I can just go back in here. Or not. It was one way only, that's a shame. That's a doggone shame. Just kinda hoping I'd be able to go back. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to talk to her and she'll get me out of here. Hello. This planet, it's very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow, Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all hundred purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red Lumas. But the really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the analog stick. If you collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Awesome. Sounds cool. You transformed into flying Mario. Spin while jumping to fly. Oh, right. Very interesting. Good thing there's not a time limit on this. Otherwise, I'd probably fail. I'm gonna have to really practice with this power before I can get the hang of it. Flying is not so easy. Wait. I just have to let him grab on the edge. That's the easier thing. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that all right. Okay. I gotta get the hang of the heart. And I'm not doing that. I'm missing so many of them. Oops. Hard to tell. Hard to get a feel for it, you know? Let's try this again. Get the ones I missed. Luckily, I didn't miss that many of them. Oh. I see. There is a limit on it, of course. Otherwise, it would be OP as freak. Luckily, I didn't miss that many of them. Matter of fact, of the ones that are in bubbles, only that one is left. Oh, jeez. I don't think I can turn to it. Okay, that one was also left, but that's beside the point. You didn't see that one. I'm almost half. Well, I'm over halfway there. So that's a thing. Here you go, buddy. Get obliterated. Ah, 
Ah, uh, you gotta love turning them into spin tops and then grabbing the star bits out of them like it was their guts or something. You gotta enjoy the kill. Kill, kill, kill! Let's fly. Uh oh. Oops. Now, where was that one that I missed? It's around here somewhere, I know it. I can smell it. It smells like burning hydrogen, which is basically what the stars are. That's beside the point. Excellent. That takes care of that one. Most of them are on the ground, too. Darn it. I got careless there. I should probably try not to let that happen again. Ow. I say not let it happen again, and then I immediately let it happen again. Luckily, I've gotten that. If I can just stomp on some Goombas, I'll be in business. Of course, that brings about its own risk, because I might actually hit them. I just do this. Well, that actually works quite well. <laughs> I've got exactly 69 of them. Well, you jokesters, theoretically in my head, aren't going to get your jollies for much longer. Sorry to disappoint you. Theoretical person only exists in my head. Let's be real. Probably none of you thought about that, and I'm the one who injected the thought into your head. That's how... That's how suggestions work. You plant ideas into people's heads that they never, otherwise would never have thought about. Like saying, well, how often do you think about certain subjects? Like, uh, sex. People who wouldn't have thought about it start thinking about it. Jeez. Wish you could cancel it anytime you want. Granted, you can just hit the ground and that cancels it, but that's not quite so simple. You know? Things probably would be even easier if I could cancel it anytime I want. Okay, now I see. Most of these are far too high up. I'm gonna have to fly and actually master this power up. Let's try to hit them. Try being the operative word here. Hopefully these ones aren't... Okay, never mind then. I was gonna say they're not gonna be too hard to get, but clearly it proved me wrong before I even finished my sentence. Luckily these stars are all over the freaking place, so it doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. Of course, it does matter if I completely overshoot my target. You know, that, that matters a little bit. There we go. Luckily I didn't overshoot it this time. I did just the right amount of shooting. Let's try to get the other ones. Whoever the frick they are. Dang it. I'm worried that if I try to go straight for them, I'll end up overshooting or undershooting or everything but the right shot. You know? It's always when you're right down to the wire that the remaining ones are always the trickiest. See what I mean? Literally right there, these are the only ones that are left, but unfortunately, that makes them all the more complicated. Dang it. So easy to overshoot and everything else. Okay, there we go. If I could just steer this properly, I'd be in business. Maybe I should go far away from it. That way I can give myself time to, you know, prepare. Dadgummit. Of course, touching land instantly gets you out of it. Which normally would be good, but unfortunately, when, it, when you actually don't want it to cancel out, it can be a bad thing, to be sure. Well, whatever, I got that one. Just two more to go. Surely it's not gonna be that hard. Famous last words, I know. Okay, that, that works. I can just figure out the arc that they naturally take, that'll make it even easier. Alright, come on. That was so freaking close, I could taste it. That time it was an undershot, somehow. 
really? I'm not trying to shoot over it. There we go. I'll admit that was trickier than I would have thought. Let's get back over there. Actually, I may as well go back in style. Why settle for jumping when you can fly? Huh. I think I bounced into it. Only a shame I didn't grab it while in that form, but you know. You can't always get what you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got a star. Gateways, purple coins, gateway galaxy. Galaxy complete. High score updated. You increase your star bit count. All that good crap. You discovered a new galaxy as well. A lot of, a lot of them in the freaking garden. Hungry Luma's appeared. That's just great. Yeah, that was that was love appearing. They have a ravenous appetite. Everything is all good. Sorry, but I've got enough to deal with with that. The comments. I don't have enough star bits for everybody. I really wish I did. But unfortunately, we've got to divvy things around, and I've got to prioritize here. You understand, right? Oh, okay, I almost... Just did it without even wall jumping. But of course me, silly me, I didn't realize that and I tried to wall jump and things went wrong. It's kinda weird. Come on. See, this is what happens when you miss the boat on one of them. And I didn't just miss it either. It had already gone past by the time I got up here, so you can imagine if I had just missed the mark, that would have been... So annoying. Hello, Lumas. Good to see all of you. Oh, just happens to be chilling right here. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty star bits? Yes. 1200. Ah, you're greedy, aren't you? It's barely any at all for you, isn't it? Okay, fine. Uh, for you, I'll try to grab as many of them as I can. But no promises. The garden is a secret, huh? Whoa, look at that. Like, it, like I got teleported in another realm. Uh -huh. Oh, of course, here's the map. Yes, of course. Let's go back. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see which one sounds the coolest. New galaxies appeared. Dreadnought Galaxy. Okay, that's already a top contender. However, Deep Dark Galaxy. Well, I don't know, man. We've got a lot of Edgelord Galaxies here. Matter Splatter Galaxy. That sounds weird. You know, those sound edgy AF, but this just sounds weird, which means we're going with it. Gotta go for the weird one. It distinguished itself. Matter Splatter Galaxy. Watch your step. Gee, thanks. Now, until now, I was able to just jump anywhere I want. But now, okay. Now I see. This is rather peculiar. It really takes that painting, painting the environment concept in games like Portal and Unfinished Swan and really takes it to the edge, doesn't it? Matter is constantly disappearing. Oh, jeez. That was a red herring. That was a trap. That was a dead end right there. Don't know what I was thinking. Clearly, I was not thinking at all. Okay, good. This one does not disappear. Was ropes if things weren't tough enough already? That's fine, though. Of course, it's not over yet. Now we gotta do a 2D one. That's just gonna be great. Let's just go ahead and deal with these off right off the bat. That's wonderful. You really gotta time your jumps properly, man. You don't wanna die. Oh, jeez. Now more than ever, it is important to time your jumps properly. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Good. 
it does go both ways. Okay, let's hurry up and do this. Ah, oh, jeez. Really? Freaking really, man? You for real, man, my man? Is you for freaking real? Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Son of a ass. It's harder than you would think. Tricky. Tricky little bastard. But I will conquer you, I swear it! My very pride is on the line, which means I cannot fail! As if that's ever stopped me from... ...being destroyed hilariously before. At least it's right up there. If I can just get to it. Come on, Mario. Mario? I have to ask you to actually do what I want you to do and not be an ass about this. Can you do that for me, Mario? Can you do that for me? I'm just asking you, buddy. I don't believe I'm asking much either. Just to cooperate for two seconds, huh? And that was just uh, weird, too. Uh -oh. This environment is rather complex. Convoluted AF. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Ah, frick. Okay. About to say. If it had kept going in that direction, that would have been a real nasty surprise. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Come on. Rip it, get out of it, man. Don't, don't be in me like that. Oh, great. The spring. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, I see. Very cool. Okay, this isn't so bad. That's not so bad. But uh, now it is. Oh, crap. You gotta do it at exactly the right time and in the right spot. But thankfully, there is a bit of a... There is a bit of a merciful grace period for you to actually make it up here. It doesn't expect you to do it immediately. Thank goodness. I gotta time it. Come on, there we go. I'm beginning to think... Okay, good. I was gonna say, I'm beginning to think it's probably not worth trying to go for that, but thankfully it's not that hard. Everything's all good. They do give you plenty of time to try to orientate yourself. Just not that easy. Neat, I got another one up. Awesome. Come on, hurry up. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, that was a close one. Talk about nail-biting. Nicely done. Sweet. Okay. I get the feeling this is going to be the trickiest part. But of course it usually is once you get near the end. Oh, I was about to say. Good. I can do that. That's going to make things a little easier. This is going to be tricky. Wonderful. Jeez, good thing for that double jump. It's merciful, and that was not merciful at all. That was not merciful at all. Lord have mercy. That was not merciful. What were you doing? What do you think you're doing here? Pretty much have to have the right spot. Luckily, there is the checkpoint right at the beginning of this. Otherwise, this would be very unfortunate. If you don't pick the right one, you only have, a, like, two seconds to reorientate yourself. Otherwise, you're dead. Freaking dead, son. Dead or nailed this, my man. Ah, jeez. Come on. There. 
I may be one hit from death, but you know what? At least I'm not fully dead. Not yet. Give it like two seconds, tops. Let's be real. Really? Really? Be for real, man? That was just ridiculous right there. So, this, this is gonna take, you know, well, it's gonna take longer than I would have thought. Hang tight real quick. Okay, we're good. At least I think we are. I hope we are. Just gotta take this nice and carefully. Oh, come on. There we go. I'll admit, that one threw me for a loop. Who said it out had to be completely easy? Even if I sound frustrated, that's just because it's working. I think. Watch your step. Indeed, Matter Splatter Galaxy. When it said watch your step, I didn't know it meant, well, you basically have to guess which path is the right yeah, path. Now granted, there are ways of saving yourself, but they're not quite so simple. You know, I guess I'll go with the Dreadnought Galaxy next. Because it looks like a tower, and towers are cool. Infiltrating the Dreadnought. Dread me not, my good friend. <laughs> Sounds fun. Eyeballs that shoot laser beams. Although I'm not really sure if those are good beams or bad beams. It's hard to tell. Yes. It could be either way. They look like they, they're dangerous and that they should be avoided, but then again, they also look like they could be tractor beams. Might be necessary to get places. So you never know. Though in this case, since they're so easily avoidable, and you seem to be able to get on just fine without them, I'm going to assume bad. Just, just a guess. That give me a bad vibe, you know. Uh, it's wonderful. Oh, you freak! Come on. Uh oh. There you go. What do you say to me now? Dread not your patheticness. Oh jeez, <laughs> that's great. Oh jeez. There we go. Let's just kill him. Oh, I guess I gotta stomp on them, yep. Because that exposes their underbelly. You can't just jump, you can't just run into them when they're protected by a shell. This is their vulnerable spot. Very nice! Into the pipe we go. Ah, uh, you gotta love that underground theme. You probably haven't heard of it because it's so underground. See, I can be edgy too. Kinda. I don't know if that's edgy or not. It's probably just being a hipster. Is being a hipster edgy? I mean, I guess you could argue that if you're being a hipster, you're trying to be edgy in a, well, I'm just, I'm just less mainstream than you, I'm just more unique than you. In a way, it's edgy. Kinda. Think about it. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that's very nice. Doubling your pleasure, my man. That's always good. Better be careful, and you might get crushed. Yep, I definitely would have gotten crushed if I'd stayed on that. That's one. That's one elevator ride you don't want to stick around on, you know. There we go. Ah, gravity shifting. It's always so delightful. Come on. How fascinating. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, come on! You prick! Pain. Mario? You need to quit misinterpreting my intentions. I don't know how you're supposed to correctly interpret my intentions, but find a way. 
Please. Please just find a way. I would appreciate it greatly. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like progress lost, or progress being regained, I should say. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. And try not to get crushed by stray rogue elevators. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here. Woohoo!